dash cam installation methods. Today, we're gonna to talk about the five different ways a dash camera can be installed. We're gonna break it down the differences between using a cigarette lighter, parking mode cable, universal parking mode cable, OBD2 adapter, and a power cell. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you do have any questions, please leave comments down below. If you wanna see one of our other popular videos, if you also look down below, we do have links to a lot of our other popular videos. Anyways, let's tackle these questions. Different types of installation. Cigarette lighter cable. If you get a dash camera that comes with a cigarette lighter cable, Keep in mind, this has no low battery protection at all. All it will do is plug directly into the cigarette lighter and power up the dash camera. Keep in mind, I would verify whether your cigarette lighter cable is a constant power plug-in or ignition based. If it is a constant power plug-in, there's a good chance that your vehicle's battery will die overnight because you're going to keep it on all night with no protection of the battery voltage. Universal parking mode cable. Now, for customers that actually get a cigarette lighter cable dash camera, but they don't have any parking mode capability, or they just don't have the parking mode cable. We do have a universal parking mode cable, which is actually from Blackview. It's called the Power Magic Pro. What happens with this system is the cigarette lighter will plug into it, and then there's a little bit of dip switches that will allow you to set the time and low battery protection for parking mode. And this is just a universal way to make every dash camera into parking mode. Some of the downfalls of using this is the fact that it won't actually work in like a true parking mode. What I mean by that is when you're using like a hardwire or an OBD2 cable from other manufacturers, what they will do is they'll give you the option of like time lapse or impact only or motion detection. And when you're using just the universal mode, what it's going to do is it's going to record the normal recording mode completely while parked. And it's not going to have any difference in terms of recording capabilities. It's just going to record its normal 30 frames per second and not give you that fluctuation. OBD2 cable installation. So what the OBD2 cable is, is basically it plugs directly in underneath your dash. Pretty much every vehicle except a few Teslas have an OBD2 cable plug-in. And this is what a mechanic would actually plug into to do a diagnostic to clear your check engine lights or find out if your oxygen sensor's on or something like that in terms of challenges with your vehicle. Now, this will plug right in to that connector. What it does for you is it will give you parking mode and, is, and it will also give you low battery protection because the dash cameras that it does work for have low battery protection built into the systems. Okay. Now, people do have a few concerns in terms of, well, how's the mechanic going to plug in and still run a diagnostics on my vehicle? Well, there's absolutely no challenge with that at all because it simply just unplugs and the mechanic can plug in the other scan tool to verify what's going on. And it also gives peace of mind because if there is anybody saying there's a problem with electrical in your vehicle, this can literally unplug in two seconds and you're completely ruled out of having any electrical challenges in the vehicle. Hardwire cable. This is the most common way to get a dash camera installed where it will record while parked. So typically what happens with the systems we carry is you're gonna be using a cable that has a red, yellow, and a black wire. What's involved with that is you need to hook them up to a constant power, ignition source, and ground it to the vehicle. So main reason why you would do this is so that you get the low battery protection built into the dash camera and so that you have the parking mode capabilities to work. So there are a few systems out there on the market. We don't currently carry them where you would only hook up a red and black wire. Now, typically on those systems there, the red and black wire would be hooked up to like a constant power and a ground. And then they have like a voltage cutoff that will shut the dash camera off when it shuts, 
goes down below a certain set voltage. Either way, the hardwire cable is the most popular way to install it for parking mode. Power cell installation. So what a power cell is, is basically a backup battery that actually gets installed typically under the seat or somewhere else in the vehicle. What happens is it's hooked up to power and ground and ignition. Some power cells only get hooked up to ignition and ground. What happens with this is as you are driving around with your vehicle, it charges up the power cell. Most of them last from anywhere from 16 to 24 hours while in parking mode. So when you turn your ignition off, what happens is the power cell switches on into parking mode and it, the parking mode will last until that power cell runs out of battery power. Keeping this completely isolated from the battery in your vehicle, which in turn means you will never have your battery die. I hope this gave you a very good explanation of the different ways that you can install a dash camera in your vehicle. And like we said before, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Thanks a lot.